Hello everyone, welcome back to another, I guess, Let's Play, or... Welcome back to another video of Raven Plays, I am your humble host, Raven800, and today I'm in a really bad mood. Because it is... July 24th. And last night, July 23rd, I was playing a, a few rounds with, uh, Sentius and Xiao. And, uh, you know, we, ec we actually exercised, like, three ghosts, you know? Uh, and it was great because I went through this whole arc of like actually being a brave boy instead of being an absolute coward and I actually helped exercise one of those ghosts and I actually went face to face with said ghost and you know snapped the flash photo of it and made it disappear and exercised it entirely. It was great, it was awesome, it was cool. I felt like a badass and I thought I was recording the whole time. Apparently not. So all that awesomeness is lost to time. As you can see, I'm level 4 now because of all of our shenanigans last night. And I'm just in such a bad mood right now that I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, just try and exercise a ghost on my own. Just take it out on this one ghost. Because screw OBS right now. Pissed me off so much. I'm gonna do what Sentius does. Grab this. I'm gonna grab a Mary statue. I come in peace. Can you please open the door? Set that there. Let's try and get some EMF reading first. I'm gonna also grab this, and can I grab this as well? No, I cannot. Let's get some EMF readings. Oh. 
Nope, I'm out. That was spooky. Why isn't this getting a signal? Definitely a child, though. This isn't getting a signal. <clears throat> Oink. Alright, so. Child. <clears throat> to write in the book. Write in the book. Thank you. In there. the book <clears throat> symbol picture writing hmm temperature near entity Try the entity scan one more time. See if we can't get any audio proof. Can you speak to me? Please speak to me. Can you give us a sign? Can you say something? Say something to me. Would you like to say something? Okay. Doesn't want to talk. See if I can't see this.
All right, so we got spirit orbs in that picture, I think. So photo, yeah, haunting origin. Okay, so we found the origin of the haunt. <coughs> Alright, let's print an exorcism and see. Exorcism in one action. Shoot an entity with the neutron gun. Exorcism in one action. Use an, essen an, an, an incense stick close to the entity. Throw the holy water onto the entity. Okay. we need. I'm going to save the Neutron Gun for last. Throw Holy Water. Okay. And an Incense Stick. Alright. Spirit? Okay. That was one. You that there. <coughs> oh, it burnt the cross. Though, obviously, the cross doesn't work on it, but the Mary statue does. Gotcha! Alright, one more. Neutron gun. Show yourself. And it has been exercised. Be at peace. Ah. That was my first exorcism that I've done by myself. I'm a brave boy now. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, let's see if we can't find anything out of place. We have spirit orbs. And before you ask, once the spirit has been exercised, that's it. It doesn't, uh, doesn't come back. So. The spirit orbs apparently mark the origin of the haunting. This is most likely where you're going to see the spirit the most. That's pretty neat. Pretty much what I'm looking for now with this camera is just anything that is not visible to the human eye. Because apparently there are occult items in the house or in the area that you're looking at. Or, you know, hunting. And there will be invisible items that you cannot see with the naked eye. And when you find these items, you can actually bring them back to the truck for extra money. But I'm not sure if they show up after the ghost has been exercised. Yet to test that theory. Aha! Here's one now. So if I close this. See right here? There's a pot on this bottom shelf. 
There we go. Now I can take this pot, bring it back to the truck, and make some extra money. Sometimes you could also find ghost writing with the camera. <clears throat> if it doesn't like write on the book, sometimes a ghost can write on the walls and such. But we've already got ghost writing in the book, so I don't think we have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. And usually these invisible items are always going to be something that you can grab, you know? They can be small, though, so you gotta be very thorough. Hmm. I guess that's what the ghost threw. Upstairs. Well, nothing out of the ordinary here. I close this door, right? Yeah, I did. All right. So now the other thing to search for is any occult items, but now that the ghost has been exercised, the occult reader might not go off. Just doing a final sweep before I go. And it's not always going to be in the origin of the haunting, either. Now, usually when the haunt is going on, the occult reader will, like, spike up to, like, you know, 12, 10... Sometimes even like 16. There was one time it jumped up to like freaking 20. And Sentius was like, yep, that's a Revenant. <laughs> like, how do you know? Uh, Revenants have a very high occult reading. Hey, it's an Atari. That's neat. My sister had one of those. I don't remember what happened to it. I think my mother probably has it somewhere. Locked up in a box. I remember playing the heck out of that. I had no idea it was my sister's. I thought it was my parents. But no, it was my sister's. And I just, I found it one day and I just hooked it up and I just played the hell out of it. I had some good memories playing that game, the, the Atari system though. I mean, it wasn't the Nintendo, but... It was definitely an interesting experience actually playing Atari games, you know? I think she had like Space Invaders, uh, Pac she had Pac-Man, uh, she had Knight Rider, that, that, that used one of the Atari controllers that had like the little steering wheel on it, <clears throat> that was interesting, I had no idea what I was doing in there but it was fun. Alright, well. Can't find the other occult items, so let's go ahead and pack everything up. Alright. Close this up, turn that off. Boop. And let's head home, see how we did. Missed two optional objectives, which is fine. Exercise the entity present. Yep.
Classification of Entity Poltergeist? Really? Wow. It was a poltergeist, but... Huh. But I exercised it under the child description or category. Weird. Pictures taken, one. Occult objects collected, one. Alright, not bad. Well... That was my frustration vented. Thank you all again so much for watching, especially those who stuck around to the very end. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the like button. I know this wasn't really like a very entertaining or action-packed or, oh, lol, you know, let's laugh at his fear kind of thing, but I just, I really wanted to make up for the fact that I lost all the content from last night, and I just wanted to, like, do a quick hunt and see if I could actually do this by myself and not be a coward. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks again for watching. As always, I'm your humble host, Raven800. You like what you saw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already been over that. But, uh, yeah, be sure to have yourselves a good day, a good evening, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Take care of yourselves.